Hi, just a quick video I thought I'd uh, do on some stuff I've found in the uh, garbage room here in the EV Blog corporate headquarters here. I've got this um, machine, it's a Dell uh, XPS 420 and uh, it is fully operational, there's absolutely nothing wrong with it uh, whatsoever and uh, it was like a top of the line uh, machine, you know, not that many years ago and this was thrown out in the garbage room all I needed was a hard drive and it was fully up and running again so I use this as the main desktop machine here in the EEV blog lab and I'll show you some other stuff I found there as well and then I thought I'd go downstairs and uh, give you a look around in there it's a small garbage room but uh, anyway to see what sort of things people are throwing out and here's another collection of uh, stuff. Just this morning, I found these two uh, monitors. They're um, Samsung SyncMaster 204Bs. Uh, they're uh, 20 inch, and they're on the. Uh, they've got one of those uh, rotating um, uh, stands on them. So I scored two of those this morning. I haven't checked them, but I'm pretty darn sure they will work because they've just, you know, decided to buy new monitors and they've just tossed them out. And I've got two, well, I've got a uh, SyncMaster, once again, another Samsung SyncMaster 943N. I think I have checked that one and that works. I've got another Samsung Sync, SyncMaster 913V. I've got a Lenovo uh, IBM uh, ThinkCenter uh, PC. Once again, all it needs is um, a uh, hard drive, and that's uh, fully operational. I've tested that one. Um, there's another uh, Dell. They've thrown out quite a few of these Dell PCs, and uh, I scored the mother board out of that one. So, you know, um, I scored the uh, power supply and the motherboard. Apart from that, it's not a, you know, it's not a terrific uh, PC. But anyway, it does the job. I've got a HP LaserJet 1010. I've got a uh, Brother HL 2142. Uh, laser printer as well so a couple of laser printers and then an awesome score which I uh, tweeted a photo of by the way if you're not following me on Twitter you can uh, get the latest photos of this stuff you don't have to wait until I do a video it's a uh, Toshiba eStudio 16S photocopier with uh, A3 and A4 uh, paper sheet feeders on it and it is fully operational there's a test uh, printout from it it even came with the toner cartridge, I think it's only done uh, 80,000 uh, prints or something. There's the self-test report. Absolutely nothing wrong with it whatsoever. A superb office photocopy. are a little bit old, but hey, they just chucked it out. And it even came with wheels on it, so I just wheeled it straight out of the garbage room and straight up to the office here. Brilliant. And, of course, there was the uh, photocopier I tore down and uh, I've only got the uh, parts left for that but I also found that down in the junk room and we've got one of these Epson multi-function machines scanner and inkjet uh, printer you know you can rip this apart lots of uh, cool motors and stuff inside that brilliant and here it is yes it is a garbage room <laughs> don't expect uh, too much and this is where they dump all this stuff, you're not uh, supposed to really uh, dump stuff in here, but people do. Uh, we've got a big uh, garbage uh, compactor here. Maybe we can destroy some stuff in that. <clears throat> anyway, we've got a 68-centimeter uh, TV. Once again, this stuff is almost always uh, working. A lampshade, we've got a chair, across the old chair. We've got a uh, desk, which uh, nobody wants. That's been here for quite some time. And uh, it's an absolute mess down in here, but you can pick up um, some stuff. So every couple of days, I'm uh, down here having a look. And let's, uh, somebody's obviously port bought a portable Blu-ray player. Let's have a look in here. What do we got? We have a mouse. Anyone want a mouse? But we have a calculator. Woohoo, look at that. Printing calculator. There we go. I might uh, take that back. I bet you a million bucks it's working. And uh, what else have we got? We've got a, another deal. We've got a keyboard. We've got a, yet another. Ah, looks like the bean counters have been busy. There we go. Two identical calculators. 
brilliant. And uh, I might dig around in the bottom of that box. There might be something else. There were a couple of uh, uh, a couple of more laser printers the other day, but they went pretty quick. Somebody nabbed those, but there you go. That's what you can find in these uh, <laughs> corporate office um, garbage rooms. People just, you know, dump out photocopiers, computers, laser printers, all that uh, stuff which they update every couple of years. And every week I'm finding something in here. So <laughs> anyway, um, if you do know uh, someone in one of these uh, corporate uh, office parks, find out where the garbage room is. You might be able to find some stuff. And let's see if this sucker works, shall we? Yeah, of course it does. No worries. Look at the display on that thing. It really is quite lovely. Look at that. Beautiful. But the uh, if you look at it from the top, it washes out uh, pretty darn quickly. It's just designed for direct sort of, you know, angular, um, you know, pushed away at arm's distance on the bench kind of stuff. But anyway, um, you know, it's <laughs> if you're an accountant, this is still uh, useful. But to uh, someone like us, hey, it's going to have a uh, print mode in it. There it is. But, uh, yeah, there's no paper in it. But, uh, you know, it's going to have motors and uh, stuff in that. You can definitely salvage some parts out of this. And you know I couldn't help myself. I had to crack it open. So here it is. And it looks incredibly old school. Like uh, something I'd expect out of the 19. 80s, but uh, the date code down here are uh, 15th week 99, so you know 12, 13 years old it's not that old at all according to that uh, date code, but look at the construction they've got here, this is absolutely incredible, they've converted all the through hole stuff to SMD, these are uh, sharp I don't know what they, you know, they're like uh, solenoid um, uh, drivers for the digits, uh, which go up here for the uh, printer so there's some sort of driver device but look at this they've converted these uh to92s or sort of a squat to92 uh, package there into all surface mounts the uh, to220 regulator up here check out how they've bodged that on a heatsink with just a metal plate like it's an afterthought oh it got too hot oh let's just add an aluminium plate we don't want to redesign the board and uh, they've got these well, they're not bodge wires because it looks like, you know, they're labelled VP, VP, they're labelled B, B. So it looks like they were almost, you know, designed in, so to speak. There's another uh, uh, through hole uh, package converted into SMD. Crazy. We've got some, um, got some diodes around here. That's the main LSI chip. That'll just be a custom uh, job. And then we've got some... <laughs> surface mount parts another one bodged in there we've got a trimmer and uh, that is you know that's something i would expect from like uh singapore in the mid 80s in some computer clone or you know something some apple cloned computer or or something like that it's just oh man unbelievable anyway there's a there's a uh, quite a few useful uh, things in here there's a uh, transformer up here always useful to get a uh, mains transformer and then we've got a motor here. We've got a solenoid over here and uh, We've got uh, various cogs and things so well worth uh, Salvaging out of the dumpster. That's for sure